What's going on everybody up down here by the lake, man? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Where's Mr. Rogers? <laughs> but I think he's resting with the Lord right about now. Good Christian brother, man. Had a great TV show on there for a while. And uh, I'm going to look for this real quick. It's coming out of Galatians um, chapter 5. And I'm going to read 7 through 10. Verses 7 through 10 of Galatians. And the heading going into the chapter is called Be Gracious and Do Good. And here we go. And the title for today's uh, devotional is called uh, Worth the Wait. And that's what we're going to get into right now. Wherever you may be in this big, beautiful world, man, I just hope you're having a great day out there. I'm down here at the lake, man. It's just so gorgeous, guys. It's just unbelievably amazing. Before I get into this, I'm going to just take you for a walk over here real quick. And it's just a real pretty little park here. you got a volleyball net on the other side of this bush. You got the, 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 the lake here, the lake here, the little beach called Sullivan's Lake. And uh, just a gorgeous day down here. At the lake, man. I mean, it's just beautiful, guys. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. The wind's blowing a little bit, as you can probably hear. It's just nice, nice, clear sky out here, man. It's just so beautiful. Everywhere you look, it's just, just beautiful, man. Just beautiful. So we're going to get back to business for the Lord. You got a little butterfly over here. <laughs> got him there. Got a little, got a little crowd for the Bible devotional today. Hallelujah! <laughs> Daily devotional comes from the upper room where the world meets to pray as one through the Holy Spirit of God, and we're gonna get into it right now, guys. Whatever you may be going through today, just know it ain't as bad as the devil's telling you. Um, Jesus has already won victory, the V I C T O R Y victory at the cross, and we don't need to have to worry about anything anywhere at any time. God's got us. We got this because God's got us, man. Man, I'm just looking at that beautiful sky in the back. It's so beautiful here. I wish you were here. But I'm glad I can bring a little bit of this uh, beauty to you through this video. And we're going to get into it right now. Verse 7 of uh, chapter 6 of Galatians. And here we go. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever man sows, he shall also reap. It says, For he who sows his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows of the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. Verse 9 says, And let us not grow weary in while doing good, for in due season we shall reap. If we do not lose heart, therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good all, to all, to everybody, especially to those who are of the household of faith. That means our brothers and sisters, guys. we got to do good towards our brothers and sisters. We can't turn our backs on them because they're not living the same, um, they're not in the same walk as we are. And I made mistakes in the past where I want people to be where I'm at. And it just don't work that way. I had to go through a horrible time in my life, which turned out to be the best thing ever. Like Jesus on the cross looked horrible that day, but it was such a beautiful day. And what Jesus went through, he's got everlasting life. He sits at the right hand of God. He's the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, man. And what I went through made me a better teacher. And how that possible, I had to get so close to God from a life from hell came against me. I had nobody else but God. And it was just amazing to grow with him that closely. I was put in a tough situation where I had to go. I only had him. That's it. Everybody else was like, oh, I ain't talking to him. Oh, they're believing a lie from hell. And that's okay because God knows the truth about my life and yours. And it's all right. But um, it's just part of the deal and part of the walk. It made me um, you know, a good teacher of the word. Of just, It's really God speaking through me. When you get close to God, the Holy Spirit is closer to you. He fills up and he trusts you more. The closer I get to God, the more he trusts me with his wisdom and, and words to speak to people. He won't give his Holy Spirit um, to people that are sinning and doing corrupt, corruption and, and living a sinful life. God won't reward that, and it grieves the Holy Spirit. So I try to live an obedient life. Yeah, I'm a sinner just like you guys. I get thoughts in my head. I, you know, do stuff here and there, and it just it just goes down like that. So it's just, it's just a matter of just staying focused on Him and just doing a good thing, you know, for the Lord in His eyes, doing and speaking. You know, just back to get some cars coming. It's first time I'm, like, out really down here at this lake. So it's kind of neat and cool to be out here in these different little environments. And beauty, beautiful settings, man, to um, do the do the uh, study in, man. So it's the Holy Spirit to lead me here. And it says here, doing good. The apostle has argued that the length of such good works cannot justify or sanctify anyone. Good works don't get us into heaven, guys. Just believing in Jesus Christ gets us into heaven. And we're going to go ahead. Let's see here. The corruption is a term used in the field is which produces is to produces nothing but uh, is to rotten the harvest. So we don't want to be a Christian that, that rottens the harvest. We want to do the best we can for God and we're forgiven, you know, and just where I'm at in my walk is where I'm meant to be. Where you're at in your walk today is where you're meant to be. 
So don't look at other people like I used to look at people like, why can't I play guitar in front of a thousands of people and witness the God, you know, witness God's word that way? Well, it just doesn't go down like that. What you do and what you say, what I do and what I say is so big. It's all the same. And you know what? We're all in the equal playing field because we all have Jesus Christ. And that's all that matters, guys. That's it. If you witness to your children, to neighbors, to anybody in a store, post office, that's huge to witness Jesus' love, the truth in a hateful world full of lies. So whatever you're doing for the Lord, guys, just being a good person in everyday life is fantastic. Don't grow weary in doing good. Some days, guys, man, I've been hurting so bad lately, I just wanna, wanted to give up. You know, Satan's going, give up, man, you've done enough, and this and that. But Jesus didn't show me how to give up, and don't you give up today. You call on him for his almighty strength, right, and his power, and he'll give it to you with the Holy Spirit. And fight the Holy Spirit in. Ask God, what do you need me to say? What do you need me to do today? God will give you strength, encouragement, joy, and peace, and comfort you through a tough time in your life and through a tough life in general. God doesn't make it easy. He makes it possible. Hallelujah. Now, this is sent in by uh, Jody Williams from Illinois. All right, I never been up to Illinois. Oh, yeah, I did drive by Chicago, Illinois, uh, up by Soldier State, uh, Soldier uh, Field, uh, where the Chicago Bears played one time. So, I actually passed through there. It's pretty cool. So, Galatians 6 9 is, uh, let us not become weary in doing good. For the proper time, we will reap the harvest if we do not give up, guys. And, you know, everything you do good here, guys, we don't do good to give rewards, but God just blesses us like any good father would bless his children with a reward for doing good and just trying your best. Going to fall down, but it's okay. <laughs> as long as we're trying something to fall down, you know, while doing something, it's okay. God doesn't mind when we fall and stumble, man. It's if we stay down or if we keep sinning and keep going down that path. You know what I'm saying? And God loves us either way, man, you know. And uh, we're going to get into this now, and it's called Worth the Wait. It says, when I became, when I, uh, became a homeowner, I found uh, mowing the lawn stressful. <laughs> I, I can uh, attest to that, right? I can uh, agree with that. Getting my mower started, it felt like it um, was a feat in itself. You know, pulling the string. <laughs> Did I pump it? Did I prime it? Did, where's the choke? All this stuff, right? <laughs> Everybody out there with their lawnmowers going, oh, yeah, right? <laughs> Everybody lives in Baltimore City don't know about that. Our, our idea of uh, mowing the lawn is picking some weeds from the concrete and the cracks. <laughs> but here we go, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay focused. It says getting the lawnmower started was a feat in itself, not, uh, not to mention the hour and a half it took to get the job done. As I grow accustomed to mowing the lawn, however, I actually began to enjoy it. I find situations, um, or sat I'm sorry, I find satisfaction in seeing weeds disappear as I work. And I love to admire the beautiful lawn when I'm finished. We all do, ain't it? You sit down, right? You go, whew, right? Oh, man, it looks great. Right? <laughs> you know that feeling. <laughs> so this experience has caused me to wish um, that more of, my um, more of my life was this way. Um, in the most of my uh, other efforts, I don't see immediate results the way I do when I'm on the lawn. See, we're in charge of doing the lawn, so we can do it fast and we can see the progress. But we're going to get into God's timing. We're working, doing good, but we don't reap the benefits to sit down and enjoy and see what we've done till later. The friend who seemed excited to come to church with me, um, um, with me once, doesn't come anymore. After I taught them for months, my students um, still take the same mistakes. Um, they still make the same mistakes, like me right now, <laughs> making mistake after mistake. But I won't give up. I'm pushing forward. Hallelujah! And uh, that they made before temptations. I thought had uh, conquered, that had been conquered, and they still get the best of me yet to this day. Same with me, guys. You know, um, I go through life and, and things happen and stuff, and I just can't believe that I still make these mistakes after mistake. But this flesh we live in, man, it's, it's you know, part of this worldly system, and we got to keep calling the Holy Spirit of God into the situation, man, to break those chains, man, of addiction, um, whatever it might be, and that um, anxiety, pain, and suffering that we all go through in a day. But we're always going to mess up. Keep this in mind. We're always going to mess up because we're in this flesh. And we are going to forget to call on God in situations. And we are going to mess up. But he don't want you to feel bad about anything. Repent and move forward, man, okay? It's all you got to do. Don't look at yourself as a bad person, okay? We're not bad. We're loved by God. And we're just his children. We're caught in the middle of this fight. We're over here with God. Satan's trying to pull us over here back and forth, right? But we just got to pray to him, bring him into the situation, and get that victory, the V-I-C-T-O-R-Y, victory in Jesus' name. There's so many distractions going on around us. So when you stumble and mess up, don't feel bad, okay? Just hit that reset button and start over, okay? It says, uh, we may see the results of our efforts in this life, or I'm sorry, today's quoted verse reminds us not to ever give up in doing good efforts. 
It says we may not see the results of our efforts in this life, but not and not always, right? Sometimes we see what we do and we pray for somebody. We say, oh yeah, they got healed or this financial thing happened and oh, it's a miracle. But sometimes, man, we might say a kind word. We might pray and never see the results, the end results, but no one thing. When God's in charge, man, and we send that prayer up to him, man, miracles happen. And just know when we pray, right, when we pray, great things are happening for everybody around us who we're praying for, our enemies even, to come to the Lord. I'm praying for an enemy of mine to come to the Lord, guys, you know, so he doesn't put anybody else through what he put me and my daughter through. Till this day, I won't give up on that prayer. But here it says, um, that we may see the um, results of our efforts in this life, but not always. God's timeable um, is different than ours. His timetable is different than ours. And even when we may not see it, God is working to mold us into the image of Christ, guys. Everything we're going through and going through and going through is to make us more like Jesus Christ. And that's what it comes down to, to, man. Every time we go through a fiery trial, it's to burn these impurities out of us, man, to get this flesh burned and, and kill this flesh altogether. It's never going to happen until God gives us, Jesus comes and we get that new body and we're out of this flesh that's this pulling us to those sinful ways because we're born into this. So just keep that in mind when you mess up. It's, it's, it's a big deal, but it's not a big deal. God still loves you, and he knows you're trying your best. He knows your heart. Forget about what all these people think around us, anybody around us here. Who cares what they think? Only God knows the truth, man, you know? That's why I hate gossip and people walking around acting like they know about other people's lives when they don't even know about their life, and they don't know the truth, so you should shh, stop gossiping and doing the devil's work. Now it says, God's timetable is different from ours, and even when we may not see it, God is working to mold us into the more image to be more like Christ. God promises that if we do not give up, we are sure to reap the benefits worth the weight of our harvest here as we're doing things and planting seeds and growing and getting rewards from doing so and being obedient to God the best we can. That's all we can keep doing, guys, just keep trying. And here I am out here, right, struggling really bad, right, with all these distractions around me. Got a lot of things in my mind. And I really didn't pray up and, and invite the Holy Spirit in. I kind of almost did this one on my own. And you can probably tell the difference. And I'm calling on him as I, I'm speaking now. So I want people to get the message from this from this devotional tape, worth the wait. It says, let us not become weary in doing good. Don't get, don't get upset, guys, when you're doing good and people don't appreciate it. God appreciates all I think we do, guys. I get so frustrated and beat up some days, man. All this dead weight I'm carrying, all my family and friends and people I love, you know reject God and reject this cure to their sickness man and it hurts me it pains my heart because God is in me hurting and it hurts to see me everybody suffering out there at the hands of the devil who's already been defeated but uh we just know guys we're okay we got this because God's got us guys and the thought for the day is even when I do not see results God is at work in my life when we send that prayer request up right and we throw that worry in the air in a prayer and leave it right there right like the toby mack song <laughs> aaron cole song he's working behind the scenes we might not see the benefits or what's going on here but he's working behind the scenes man to make things happen just know that his precise timing we got the watches on but we're on his his timing ultimately his timing his perfect timing is always going to rule over anything i always say move over rolex this is a citizen watch but <laughs> roll over uh, uh roll move over rolex uh, god's got the perfect timing right now dear lord help us all to preserve in our efforts to do good father i ask you to bless all my brothers and sisters out there to fill them with the holy spirit and give them comfort and, and encouragement not to give up today in jesus mighty name i pray guys i'm gonna let you go with that and uh we're gonna take a walk over here man it's just a really beautiful day out here and um i just can't even believe where i live man and everything it's just uh it's tough some days you know like I keep saying, you know I'm, 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 god is with me he'll never leave or forsake me i always feel his love and comfort that's how i get up every day but it sure would be nice to have someone in your life to have here and just enjoy these scenery and just a smile with and laugh with and share some nice conversation and a hug but it is what it is you know apostle paul he didn't have a wife and he had a tough life man he was in prison so i guess i really can't say you know how bad my life is at all i'm really truly blessed here guys you know look at a little step here you can go down in the water nice little sandy place you go swimming and uh just be nice you know but i can't really get myself to come down here by myself and go swimming you know i should do that but it's all good baby baby and i'm just blessed to be alive and i just blessed to have my eyesight a sound mind and health that i can get up and come down here i got a car now but it's all good man you know and i just hope everybody out there that might be feeling a little lonely like i do today and every day really just lift that lonely feeling up and god will give you joy and peace and you'll feel good about yourself again okay
Peace be with you. I love you. And hallelujah, man. God bless you all. And don't give up fighting a good fight of faith. Don't give up in doing good. Keep fighting a good fight of faith. Jesus kept doing it. We got to do it. Let's show him some love and respect. Hallelujah.